So now that we have our, our project set up and configured for the correct size screen, I'd like to add some protocols so that I can begin uh, connecting to other devices. I can do this by double clicking on protocols on the left side of the screen here and opening the protocols tab. I can add my first protocol by clicking uh, the plus sign and then clicking the drop down menu. And from here, I'm able to look at uh, a list of our protocols. So the first one I'm going to add is Modbus TCP. After I select that protocol, I'll see this dialog, um, which is going to prompt me to start setting it up. I can type its IP address in here. Um, I can select whether it should be 16-bit based registers or 32, which uh, usually it's going to be 16. I can select if addressing should start at 0 or 1. I can change the port as well, even though it will usually be 502. So this would allow me to set up con connection with uh, one PLC. If needed, to connect to multiple PLCs that are running the same program and that are going to share the same tag, tag database, I can check off this PLC network feature or checkbox here. And what this will allow us to do is um, add multiple PLCs that we're going to connect to um, at the same time that use the same tag database. So I could simply click Add here and begin adding them. The number of PLC slaves that we support here um, varies depending on the protocol, but usually it's a pretty large number. So I'm just going to uncheck that. Um, and only have it set up for one PLC. Uh, I don't actually have one, so I'm just going to make up a, an IP address. And I can click OK to uh, finalize that. If I decide I need to change it later, I can click in this configuration cell and click on the square here and load this um, dialog back up and, and make a change. So now that I've done this, I've created my first protocol. and um, I want to mention that even if I had set up a PLC network to connect to maybe five or 10 or any number of PLCs, uh, as long as they were part of that network and shared the same tag database, they would still be part of the same protocol. So I could be connected to five or, or way more um, PLCs with my one Modbus TCP protocol. And this is one external protocol, as we call it, because it's communicating with another, with another device. And we can support up to four of those external protocols. So the first one being Modbus TCP, and um, you know, another one could be a different type of PLC, or it could even be Codasys, uh, which I'm going to add next. So Codasys, even though it does reside um, on the HMI, it does require us to use one of our four external protocols. So to set up Codasys, we simply enter in the localhost IP address and um, click OK, and we've got it set up. So I, I won't go too far into Codasys um, during this training. It's, it's more of a topic for our advanced trainings. But uh, if you do need to set it up, then this is how you can set up that Codasys protocol. And now that I've added it, I do have two external protocols, which is fine for just this training. Um, but I'd like to add a couple, or maybe just one other protocol, which is an internal protocol. So if I find the variables protocol at the bottom here, then I can add it as an internal protocol. What an internal protocol is, is it's just the way to um, reference data local to the HMI, not going to any other devices. So the variables protocol will allow us to just create some uh, some tags that are good for internal math or, or temporary data storage, but they're not actually going to go to any other devices. And another one is the system variables protocol, which could be used in a couple different ways. One way is to um, reference the I.O. modules that could be mounted onto the back. Another way is to use return of memory. Uh, this would allow us to store some data and have that data's value be retained even after the HMI is turned off and back on again. You could also use um, 
some variables that refer to things like the screen brightness, the system time, um, or, or, or a lot of things like that, screen bat or brightness or light battery, I mean. So using the system variables is a way to access those uh, data points. And I'll actually show uh, a shortcut for accessing them in a different way. So here I'm just going to select variables because I'm going to use it um, for a lot of these test project elements. So after I save this, I will close out of the protocol screen.